this is Dennis here at the Texas Bandmasters Conference to talk about our auxiliary percussion cart. Your auxiliary cart is going to be one of the most flexible pieces that you have in your front ensemble. One of the things I try to do is to try to give you as many options as I possibly can. For example, there are carts out there that are 6 feet, 8 feet, 10 feet long. Some of them have 1, 2, and 3 tiers. What I'm aiming for is to give you a cart that you can use for your band, for your auxiliary percussions, for the needs you have today that you can reconfigure for the needs you have next season. So instead of doing a multi-tier cart, what I did was a basic six-foot cart, and I included the second tier. The second tier comes with it. So this year, when you're putting the freshman on it who doesn't quite have his head in the game on auxiliary percussion, you can take this off. You can put this away, keep it in storage. Next year, when he's more, when he's got his head in the game a little more, you already have the second tier. It's not something you need to go and purchase later. That simply drops in here and locks down right here with, uh, uh, with easy to use knobs. From there, our percussion cart, you can also accessorize all over the place. First off, every rail on this is made of inch and a half, so you can use any standard inch and a half square percussion clamp. If you do have round percussion clamps, give me a call. We can easily make an accessory bar that does have a round accessory bar. Uh, specifically for those round clamps, but our standard is a square inch and a half. As far as accessories, if you've got something that you need mic'd, you've got cables, cable caddy, that adds on with one bolt. If you need to add a block inch speed, these were actually designed as a second, as a second synthesizer holder, but I actually sell more of these to percussion directors who need a way to mount a block inch spiel on their aux kit. Those go on just like that. If you need a trap table for more mallets, got one of those too. All of this stuff installs with exactly one bolt. And if you don't like it there, you can simply move it a little closer to you. And then that tightens down. That's most of our auxiliary percussion rack. Now, additionally, during the off season, you're not gonna want this big thing cluttering up your band hall. So during the off season, pull out the pins. The whole thing folds up to store in about eight inches. And that's the core design auxiliary percussion rack.